In this problem, we're going to see how to use density as a conversion factor in order to go from milliliters of a substance into grams of a substance. So, how many grams of chloroform are there in 15.7 milliliters of chloroform? If we analyze this step by step, we can see that 15.7 milliliters is a very useful piece of information, and in particular, I like to call it a piece of data. It is a number 15.7 with one unit associated with it. It is not a conversion factor. Pieces of data are good places to start dimensional analysis problems. The density of chloroform is 1.49 grams per milliliter. Whenever you have two different units that are set to be equal to each other, or you have that per in there, that's a signal to you that it is a conversion factor. Rewriting this out as an equality, 1.49 grams of chloroform equals one milliliter of chloroform. So we can see that written out as an equality, part of the conversion factor. So now we can use the density to go from milliliters of chloroform into grams of chloroform. This is a one-step conversion. We can just use the density to get us there. So the math looks like this. We have 15.7 milliliters of chloroform. Note that I have both the units and the label associated with it. That's going to become useful later on when things get a bit more complicated. Then I set up my parentheses and the parentheses contains a conversion factor, one side of the equality on the bottom, the other side on the top. The side that goes on the bottom is going to be what's going to cancel out milliliters of chloroform. So on the bottom goes one milliliter of chloroform is equal to 1.49 grams of chloroform. Double check, we're gonna make sure that this cancels out as it should. So if we take a look and see, milliliters of chloroform cancels with milliliters of chloroform. Our answer is going to have the units of grams and the label of chloroform. So 15.7 times 1.49 is equal to 23.39 grams of chloroform. Now let's double check and make sure that our uh, significant figures make sense. The number that we start with has one, two, three significant figures. So that means our answer should also have one, two, three significant figures. So the nine tells the three to round up. So our answer is 23.4 grams of chloroform.